Let's consider an elastic collision and solve the problem. Let's take, for example, two giants playing pool. So they have these giant pool balls, one of four kilograms, and that one's traveling at one meter per second, and the other's at uh, two kilograms, and let's say it's moving at two meters per second. Now, in any collision, we know that momentum is conserved. So the total momentum before the collision must equal the total momentum after the collision. This is a special kind of collision. It's an elastic collision. And elastic collisions mean that the kinetic energy is conserved. So the total kinetic energy before the collision is equal to the total kinetic energy after the collision. Well, let's use some uh, scratch paper to solve first for momentum conservation. And I'll redraw the situation got the four kilogram guy going at one meter per second and the two kilogram guy going at two meters per second. And we know that momentum gets the symbol P and is equal to mass times velocity. So when I set up my momentum conservation equation, the initial momentum equals the final momentum, I can first do the momentum before the collision. It's four kilograms times one meter per second, and that's plus two kilograms times a negative two meters per second. And it's negative because it's going in the opposite direction. And velocity is a vector, thus momentum is a vector. So this is our positive direction. Great. So that's the initial momentum, and all that is equal to the final momentum, which is the four kilogram guy and its final speed, which I'll label V1, plus the two kilogram guy and its, I should say velocity, actually, its, fin its final velocity, and I'll call that V2. So this will be object one, this will be object two. And let's multiply some things out. You know, I'm going to um, leave off the units. I have kilograms, meters, and seconds in. And therefore, I'll get kilogram, meters, seconds, units out. And this will just uh, make the writing of the mathematics a little easier here. Well, 4 times 1 is 4. 2 times negative 2 is minus 4. That equals 4v1 plus 2v2. 4 minus 4 is 0. Ah, so the initial momentum is 0. Does that mean nothing's moving? Well, no, no, it just means that the momentum going to the right is balanced by the momentum going to the left. And we should expect that also in the final situation. And if we solve this, we see that V2 is equal to negative 2V1. And all I did was, uh, well, all I did was bring the one term over and divide both sides by two. So in the final situation, the two kilogram guy should have twice the speed as the four kilogram guy and in the opposite direction. Great. So let's write that in here. So V2 is equal to minus two V1 where the two kilogram guy is the second object, the four kilogram guy is the first object. Great, let's now look at kinetic energy. And again, um, drawing the situation, we have our four kilogram guy going at uh, one meter per second. And we have our two kilogram guy going at two meters per second. So kinetic energy before the collision equals the kinetic energy after the collision. And let's we know that kinetic energy, I should write it out, is equal to 1 half mv squared. And again, I'll, I'll leave off the units for simplicity of writing. So before the collision, we have a 1 half times the mass, 4 times 1 meter per second squared. That's plus a one-half times the mass of two kilograms times two meters per second squared. And then that equals the final situation, one-half 
times 4 kilograms times v1 squared and plus 1 half times 2 times 2 oh, times v2 squared. Great, let's uh, do some simplification here. Well, 1 half times 4 is 2, 2 times 1 squared is 2, so this is 2 and then that's plus a 4 here. And that equals uh, one, uh, 2 v1 squared plus v2 squared. And so I have a total of 6 equals 2 v1 squared plus v2 squared. And let's leave it like that and we'll write it in. So this gives us 6 equals 2v1 squared plus v2 squared. Now, I have two equations and two unknowns so we can solve this problem. What I'll do is I'll stick this guy in for v2 here. And I get 6 equals 2v1 squared plus a negative 2v1 all squared. So that equals 2v1 squared plus 4v1 squared. And I get 6 equals 6v1 squared. Now dividing both sides by 6, that gets me 1 equals v1 squared. And if I take the square root of both sides, remember you get plus or minus when you take the square root. And so v1, a oh, little smart board delay there. So v1 equals plus or minus 1 because the square root of 1 is just 1. And put it in my units, I get meters per second. Well, the plus solution, that's what it was to start with. So that was the initial speed. So what we want is the minus solution because that's what happens after. So after the collision, V1, that is the four kilogram ball, is going at negative one meters per second. So it's going at one meter per second, but in the opposite direction. Now to find V2, we can just plug this in. You get a negative two times a negative one and that gives me a plus 2 meters per second. Ah, so they just swap directions. So after, this is what it looks like. 4 kilogram guy just goes backwards with the same speed. And ditto for the 2 kilogram guy. So, there you go. Giants playing pool, more importantly, this is how you solve elastic collision type problems.